In the previous lecture, we had discussion on series-series interconnection of two port networks and uh, there we saw that the Z parameters of the overall network are equal to the sum of Z parameters of the individual networks. And uh, now we are going to understand what is parallel-parallel interconnection of two port networks. And uh, like previous lecture, I have taken network NA and network NB. And in order to have the parallel parallel interconnection of NA and NB, I will extend all the four terminals of network NA. So the first thing we will do is to extend all the four terminals of network NA and then we will join the first terminal of the input port of network NA to the first terminal of the input port of network NB like this. And then we will join the second terminal of the input port of network NA to the second terminal of the input port of network NB like this. And then we will join the first terminal of the output port of network NA to the first terminal of the output port of network NB like this. After this, we will finally connect the second terminal of the output port of network NA to the second terminal of the output port of network NB like this. Now you can see that network NA and network NB are forming a larger two port network and uh, let's say the input voltage of the overall network is V1 and the output voltage of the overall network is V2 and the input current entering the overall network is I1 and we know the same current will leave the network and uh, let's say the output current is equal to I2 and we know the same current will leave the network via this terminal. Now when you observe carefully you will find voltage V1 is equal to V1A. Voltage V1 is equal to voltage V1A and it is also equal to voltage V1B and V2 is equal to V2A. Voltage V2 is equal to V2A and it is also equal to V2B. And when you focus on this particular node, you will find I1 is the entering current, I1A and I1B are the two leaving currents. So I1 is getting divided into I1A and I1B. Therefore, we can say that current I1 is equal to I1A plus I1B. And let's say this is equation number one. When you focus on this node, you will find I2 is getting divided into I2A and I to B. So current I2 is equal to I to A plus I to B. Let's say this is equation number 2. And uh, we know that in case of parallel combination, the voltage across the elements remains the same and the current gets divided. Now when you focus on the input port of network NA and the input port of network NB, you will find voltage V1A is equal to voltage V1B. V1A is equal to V1B and also current I1 is getting divided into I1A and I1B. So we can say that the input port of network NA is in parallel with input port of network NB and therefore we are using the word parallel. Now focus on the output port of network NA and the output port of network NB. You will find Voltage V2A is equal to voltage V2B and current I2 is getting divided into I2A and I2B. So output ports of two networks are also in parallel. So I hope you now understand why we are calling this interconnection parallel parallel interconnection. And uh, now we will obtain the matrix form of equation 1 and equation 2. We will have 1 2 by 1 matrix having the elements I1 and I2. Current I1 and current I2 are the two elements of this 2 by 1 matrix and it will be equal to the sum of two 2 by 1 matrices and the first 
2 by 1 matrix will have the elements i1a and i2a current i1a and current i2a and the second 2 by 1 matrix will have the elements i1b and i2b i1b and i2b now if you have followed the lectures on y parameters then you will understand that we can write this matrix equal to the y parameters matrix of network na multiplied to 2 by 1 matrix having the elements v1a and v2a similarly we can write this matrix equal to the y parameters matrix of network nb multiplied to the voltage matrix having the elements v1b and v2b so in the next step we will have the current matrix with elements i1 and i2 equal to the y parameters matrix of network na multiplied to the voltage matrix having the elements v1a and v2a plus y parameters matrix of network nb multiplied to the voltage matrix having the elements v1b and v2b and uh, we know that voltage v1a and voltage v1b both are equal to v1 so in place of v1a i will write v1 and in place of v1b i will write v1 and uh, we know that v2a and v2b both are equal to v2 so let us write v2 in place of v2a and v2 in place of v2b now you can see that the y parameters matrix of network a and y parameters matrix of network b both are multiplied to same matrix so in the next step we will take this matrix common and we will have the current matrix equal to the sum of y parameters matrix of network n a and y parameters matrix of network n b multiplied to the voltage matrix with elements v1 and v2 and it is clear that this is the matrix form of the equations we will have for larger two port network and therefore y a matrix plus y b matrix will be equal to the y parameters matrix of larger two port network so we finally have the result y parameters matrix of the overall network equal to the y parameters matrix of the first network that is network n a plus the y parameters matrix of the second network that is network n b and if we have n two port networks connected in parallel parallel connection then the y parameters matrix of the overall network will be equal to the sum of y parameters matrix of all the networks so this is the result for n two port networks connected in parallel parallel connection and uh, we know the matrix addition and therefore we can find out all the four y parameters of the overall network so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one